So the question of cyborgs, I know this is a difficult term for some because it's so strange to us and it sounds something right out of science fiction. And of course, you know, cyborgs with uh, computer technology all emerged around the same time period, which would be uh, the mid 20th century, the 50s and early 60s. And basically what we learned in that period as we began to study nature in different ways and began to realize that nature is information driven, that nature works by complex dynamical systems, that nature works by feedback loops, that um, cybernetics is part of the way systems work in nature. So that building a computer just seemed a way of extending what nature has already been for the last, you know, 13 point some billion years. The cyborg symbolizes to us that what we count as human, you know, should not just be assumed. Right? The human is not a fixed entity. We've never been fixed, by the way. We have emerged after a long period of time in evolution, and therefore the boundaries of what we are can change, and they are changing. So why is that? Now we go back to the ground of our being from a religious perspective, we name as that ground, as our creator, as God, right? And so God, as a boundary crosser, God, you might say, crosses the boundary of divinity to become human without losing anything of divine nature. And we call that the person of Jesus Christ. If we live into it, we become part of God's ongoing creativity. Um, which means we move out into the world in a creative stance, that we begin to form new holes. We, we, we cross boundaries, we push boundaries aside, and we say, no, these boundaries constrict what God is and what God is seeking to become in love. And therefore, all boundaries that thwart love must be dissolved or, or overcome. If we're living in that centeredness of God's being in love, we must be the boundary crossers, right? We must be the cyborgs. We must hybridize and bring together what's still separated, what's still um, subjugated, what's still oppressed. And this is where I, I see Jesus as cyborg, right? He, he's the boundary breaker. He's the trickster, as Donna Haraway says, you know. That's the one thing I think from the Christian side of things it's not a it's not a domesticated religion. You, you don't sit in the comfortable center and um, you know give money in the box and think you're doing you know you're going to go to heaven. You need to be a trickster. You need to be a boundary crosser. You need to be a boundary breaker uh, because I think you're invited into a radicalization of love, and that's what God is. The radicalization of love is the incarnation, and what we're saying is we're part of God's godness, right? We're part of, we're part of God's life, and that life is seeking to become more being in love and cannot do it without us. So, welcome to Christianity.